Why would someone do this to cheesecake? <laughs> Confetti cheesecake! Oh. So today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Always. Always, because so, you guys are so extra. Today is National Cheesecake Day. <gasps> I love cheesecake. Oh, especially chocolate cheesecake. Uh, <gasps> I love cheesecake. It's my favorite dessert in the whole world. Every day should be National Cheesecake Day. And because it's National Cheesecake Day, we're gonna learn about the history of cheesecake while you eat and rank five cheesecakes. Whoa, that's nice. Never had it. You never had cheesecake? No. <laughs> oh, I grew up in bakery business. I was fourth generation baker. My dad made every kind of cheesecake so brilliantly, whether it was a coffee cake, cheesecake, soft cheesecake, the hard New York cheesecake. So I grew up with cheesecakes. Okay, so with the first one, we'll be paying an homage to the origin of cheesecake. Okay, all right, put my learning hat on. Thank you. It looks very flaky, but it looks good. What, there's caramel? Okay, I'm, I'm digging in. That crust, that's, that's homemade That's that, that's not gonna be the graham cracker crust. That's really good. It's definitely like different than normal cheesecake. You tell me first. Best cheesecake I've ever eaten. Mmm. That's my kind of cheesecake. The top is like crumbles of something and some caramel. It's incredible. I've never had a loaded cheesecake like this. You guys prank us too much. Can you give us this? It's very good. It tastes like baklava a little bit, especially the the, <laughs> the crust. Wow. That is so good. On a scale of one to five, what would you rank it? Like a four. Five. God damn, that's good. Four. It's that good. It's a four. Three. It's like right in the middle. Four. You know, like it is delicious. A three. Three. Four. And why I gave it a three was because um, of how much crust there was. <laughs> There's just so much. It's like this, like literally this big. <laughs> this is a five. That is delicious. A four. I really like the, the like the crust and the mix with the flavor. So many believe cheesecake originated from ancient Greece. Oh, wow. Oh, I thought it was from the United States. In fact, the first known written recipe can be traced as far back as around 200 AD. Oof. I wonder how they made that combination of cheese and cake. And that was even before I was born. Of course it was. It was 20 years ago be was before you were born. The first known cheesecakes were actually flat cheese patties that were pounded smooth with flour and honey and then cooked on clay griddles. That's interesting. Because Greek cheese is very, very good. So since we couldn't get the authentic cheesecake, we wanted to pay homage to its origin by having you try a cheesecake which incorporates another traditional pastry of Mediterranean heritage, baklava cheesecake. Oh my god, so it is baklava, okay. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a baklava, but now that I think about it, yeah, it tastes exactly like it. It's good, but it's not, it wouldn't be like my first choice for cheesecake. I think there are better combinations. So this next one is a little bit simpler much more classic. Many people would think that it's like really close to the traditional. Yeah, that was like way fluffier than normal. Ours is more dense. Yeah, this just looks like a basic cheesecake. I knew this was a New York cheesecake because I used to bake them at my bakery. My dad would make them and you bake them in a pan and the little round tins they go in, you fill the surrounding pan with water so they don't burn. It's good. You know, nothing sp that special. It uh, it's a lot. It's a different texture. It's a lot more thick. What does it taste like? Cheese and uh, graham crackers. But the cheese a little. No, this one I like. Mm. Oh, the cheesecake is so good. Oh, uh, yeah. I could just sit and eat. Well, I will. I'll sit and eat the whole thing if you let me. Mm. Mm. -mm. <laughs> I haven't had cheesecake in a while. This just reminds me how good it is. I don't know how to describe it, it's just amazing. That's good. It's so pure, so simple and clean. After the baklava one, I'm gonna give this a four. It's so good, five. A two. No, I just didn't like the taste as much as the other one. Five. Four. Yeah, 
I like this one better. Five. You know, I really love simple. Five. Here. That's when I would give a five. I like very traditional cheesecake. Five. It's so good. <coughs> classic. Can't go wrong with it. Five out of five. It's simple. It's classic. I like I like classic things. Four. It's not, you know, something crazy like, oh, say, white chocolate raspberry or some of my other favorites. All right, so this one is actually New York style cheesecake. And many consider it to be one of the most popular types of cheesecake. All right. Well, I don't like it. Many say when New York dairyman William Lawrence discovered cream cheese in 1872, it influenced the modern age of American cheesecake because initially traditional Greek cheesecake was made with ricotta cheese. I love that. Cheesecake is so old. I never knew that it had this like classic history. It, 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 may, it, it makes me respect it more. The next one is gonna be considered a little bit more eco-friendly and very different ingredient-wise. It's gonna be a vegan one, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, I was just gonna say I'm gonna have to look up a vegan cheesecake. Ooh, this is Oreo cookie. I'm gonna guess that this right in here is the middle of the Oreo. It's just full packed of sugar and it's beautiful. Not bam. It's the consistency that is like a little off. Hmm. Mm -mm. So I'm not a fan of Oreos, and so the crust is a little much for me. This is creamy, and it's good. Um, and the crust is good, but it's all chocolatey. I do not like chocolate. It does taste more, a little bit more chocolate, and I really like the chocolate. The filling doesn't really have a whole lot of flavor. It's just creamy. It doesn't taste like cheese. It doesn't have that tang. It's not that I don't like it, it's just not my thing. It also tastes like it's not really uh, cheese. Something tells me that's not regular cheesecake. It would be a three, because it didn't taste like a cheese. Five. I'll give this one a five. I give it a two. Three, only because of the top. The middle is very good. A five. I'd probably say a two. Five. Five. It kind of tastes like cheese, but not too much, so it's like overwhelmed with cheese and cheese and cheese. Right. It's just so good. Two, because it's that's got a funny aftertaste. Not a fan, especially with the aftertaste I'm getting. This is this. Sorry, you're the cheesecake that got the one. This one was actually a vegan cheesecake. It's different. <laughs> wow, did not expect that. Cannot tell. I'm surprised. It tasted good because mm, I'm not judging vegan people or anything. It's just most vegan things I have, I don't really like them. I gotta have the real deal. I can't, I, I can't eat diet stuff. I'd rather eat less of the real thing. You know, yeah, it just changes the flavor. So this next one is very different from the rest okay. and really unusual flavor combination. Okay, ketchup flavor. This is the point where the prank comes in. Okay, I'm really nervous. Okay, so pistachio on top. Looks like there's raisins in it and maybe sweet potato. Looks very weird. That is not the proper color. It's green and orange. That that doesn't sound right. This does not look great. Not not great. Why would someone do this to cheesecake? It looks gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. God damn it. Okay, that was better than I expected. But it is savory. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. That's all I know. Ooh. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. No, thank you. Cheese. Cheese. That's real cheese. Ew. I don't That's like real cheese. What the f is that? That's disgusting. How come? <laughs> well, now we know where the uh, the uh, booger flavored candy from Harry Potter ended up <laughs> because that was terrible. I actually like it. It's like it's not. It's not. It's sweet and, and salty at the same time. We'll be kind and give it a one, just for ingenuity. A one? I know likey. A two. A zero? A zero. I would toss this out. Solid one. One. This was a big zero. One. I can't stand that. Four for this. I know it's kind of salty a little bit, 
but it's good. All right, so that one was actually <laughs> a honey wasabi pea cheesecake. Yeah, it tastes gross. <laughs> that was one of the worst desserts I've ever tasted. It's a shameful. Those flavors do not go well at all together. No. Where is this from? Who invented this? Why did you invent this? Cheesecake has evolved from its traditional plain flavor to sometimes adding fruit or syrup to now having almost every flavor of cheesecake you can think of, from sweet to savory. Yeah, well, that, yeah, that's good. I like to try new things, but I would never in a million years have that again. We change a lot the cuisine, and that's what makes it really good. Sometimes, of course, you long for the original one or what you've been used to eating, but Definitely, it's something to try and, you know, it will, you will never regret. Finally, since we're celebrating National Cheesecake Day... We sure are. Here is a celebratory cheesecake. What is that? One, two, One, two three. three. <gasps> <It's a birthday gasps> cheesecake. Oh. It's a birthday cake cheesecake. Mm. Isn't this just straight cake? This doesn't even look like cheesecake. I don't taste any cheese in this. It's just creamy, 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 except for the cake, but that's good because the cake kind of breaks up the creaminess and everything. I don't know how I feel about this one. The taste isn't all that great, but the, it looks nice. This one's pretty good. Not the best of them, but has a very regular cake kind of taste. Fasting. Cheese. And that's cheese. This yeah. is my favorite so far. Oh yeah, it's disgusting. It is like so sweet. I mean, no, the ta just taste, it tasted gross. Oh my God. It's so good. That's a winner. It's not overly sweet and I can handle it. It's actually, it's very tasty. I'd give this one a three. It's gonna be a two. This would definitely be a one. Please, can I go over? It's the last one. Like a 50. I'm not over-exaggerating. It's that good. Four. It's good. It just wasn't the best. Negative 14. That was gross. Three. Five. Four. Four. Yeah, then nothing beat the baklava cheesecake. Three. But I certainly would love to see this with candles in it for my next birthday. That would be great. It seems like there's a national holiday for almost every food group out there nowadays. Yeah, there's so many. And as of today, there's approximately 313 food holidays. Well, there's 365 days a year, so they should just fill it up to all the days. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that you'd be off for school on those days. National Cheesecake Day is celebrated on July 30th of every year. First time I hear about it, but when I leave, it'll go on my calendar. Do you consider these real holidays? No. It's not a holiday. It's, they don't even call it a holiday, do they? They just call it a National Cheesecake Day. Everything has been made up by industry to create a buzz. It's an official holiday. We have to wish people a happy Cheesecake Day on Facebook. <laughs> you know, or on Instagram or whatever. So finally, we want to know what is the best cheesecake or flavor of cheesecake you have had in your entire life? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go with that baklava one. It was, it was really good. Coffee cheesecake. <laughs> I was hoping that you guys had that, but ah, darn, <laughs> you didn't. The best that I've had is probably that vegan one. That was really good. The birthday cake one. Uh, this was me. And that like classic cheesecake, it's just the right amount of cheese, just the right amount of sweetness. It's small, it's simple. I think that might be the best. Confetti Oreo. cheesecake! Oreo cheesecake from here. It was delicious. It was the best one I've had in my life. My dad used to make a marble cheesecake. It was with just chocolate dripping through the cheesecake with a, with a top and a bottom that was, you know, like coffee cake. So good. Plain New York Deli cheesecake that I grew up with, and then when I got to New York, I was going everywhere and eating cheesecake. I just, I just love it. That luscious little wedge of dense, lovely creaminess with a little bit of tang. Oh, just the best. Thanks for watching us enjoy some great cheesecake on Generations React. If you like cheesecake, then subscribe. Shout out to Lucario Lover. Bye. Hey guys, we're two here. Thanks for watching this episode of Generations React. Make sure to check out our Twitter, at FBE, for reactor and staff Q&As, company news, and more. Bye, guys.